I want to ask you what's keeping you up at night right now and what can Congress help you and the agency do as we move forward in the coming months? Thank you for that question. Um, what is keeping me up at night uh, is the same thing that I actually also answered that question of yours back then, that it was a respiratory borne virus that has a high degree of capability of spreading and that has the capability of causing a high degree of morbidity and mortality. We are still in the middle of a serious outbreak. And one of the things I get concerned about, both for the present and for the future, for the present, it's that we prematurely pull back on our mitigation methods. We now have stabilized at a plateau. We had a sharp decline and a decrement of cases after that extraordinary spike that we saw where we were seeing anywhere between 300 and 400,000 cases per day and up to 3,000 to 4,000 deaths. Well, luckily and happily, it's gone down. However, we plateaued at around 50,000 cases a day, an unacceptably high level. My concern is that we prematurely pull back and don't give the vaccines time to continue to protect the country. With regard to the future and your question that you asked, my concern is that we don't have the corporate memory of lessons learned and we don't look at what happened to us here and the things that we need to do in the future to prevent this from happening again. But thank you because the Congress has been extraordinarily supportive of what we've done. And in fact, many of the successes of the vaccine related to the longstanding decades of support that we've received from the Congress.